afternoon. I'm actually at the beach. Just having a me day. The weather's not very good. As you can tell by my sweater. So I'm kind of just reading and enjoying the sun. I finished my little beach day. I only went for like an hour and a little bit and I actually ended up walking a whole bunch, like walking a new way. I've never walked around this area. This is like the beach area in Surrey. Basically, I just wanted to get some sun. The wildfire smoke is pretty bad out here. The Okanagan has some pretty serious fires, which is not uncommon for this time of year. They're really bad this year though, unfortunately. The train has literally just gone in front of me, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. But I went to a little coffee shop that I've actually never seen before. I've been in this area a lot and I I go to get ice cream right beside it but I just never clued in that the place beside it is a coffee shop because I don't usually come in the mornings I go at night usually so I want ice cream most of the time or not ice cream I don't have ice cream but like gelato dairy-free ice cream I grabbed some matcha and I also wasn't gonna grab food because I have a lot of leftovers at home but I really wanted a smoked salmon bagel and usually those are like 20 bucks but at this place they were ten dollars which is so reasonable nowadays I can't believe that's reasonable but like for a smoked salmon bagel that is very reasonable so I grabbed it and the matcha is so good like matcha is such a hard thing to do well I've been to so many places where I'm so bummed out by the matcha and I also got the ice matcha which usually is like very risky in a new place that I haven't been before so as soon as I ordered it I was like why did I just get the ice like I should have gotten the hot it's probably not gonna taste very good but it actually tastes amazing so I'm really impressed I'm definitely gonna go back one day I don't know I'm gonna try to do stuff like this a little bit more often I find sometimes if nobody's available to do things with me I will be like okay then I'm just not gonna do it which is weird because I'm I feel like I'm like pretty good at doing things alone and being independent like it doesn't really bother me doing stuff alone but I realize that sometimes I'm kind of like using that as an excuse to stay home because I'm definitely very introverted and I like to stay alone a lot which is fine because I need like to recharge my energy a little bit on the weekend and um the nights that i get home from work because i have a very social job so that's fine but i also feel like sometimes i'm shooting myself in the foot and i'm just using it as an excuse to not do anything and especially right now when the sun is out and the weather's nice like i should be doing stuff and getting out and enjoying the last little bit of good weather before it gets really cold again so I'm kind of just trying to push myself a little bit. I believe the last time I picked up this vlog, it was like a day to myself vlog. So kind of gonna change gears and just do everything that I've been putting off. Not every single job, but a lot of them that I've been putting off and I just don't wanna do, but would really help make my life a lot easier. I've been trying to do this every long weekend, like just tick off one of those boxes or maybe get one of my rooms kind of renovated and redone not actually renovated just like redecorated so these are some of the tasks i have to do to move on to redoing my bedroom so i'm going to get to it i have to clean out this trunk because i want to move it to my bedroom at the foot of my bed but right now it's just like a mishmash of random stuff a lot of stuff has to go to valley village but some of it is stuff i want to keep so I just gotta go through it all. This is like a big bag of old film cameras. And one of my jobs has been to get film for it and actually use them and learn how to use them properly, but I haven't done it yet. So this one needs to get done. It might go back in the trunk. I'm having quite an epiphany. I um, need more storage in my place. This is tough. Like the image I have of how much storage I wanna buy and where I wanna put it, is too little like i definitely need more it's starting to stress me out a bit but it's fine this at least looks better it's not like really what i pictured like really what i want to do in here is move all my sheets and my extra blankets and stuff and put it here and have like nothing else but for now this is just gonna have to do i'm not even done yet i'm gonna put some of my extra like tennis rackets and stuff in here it's kind of like 
stupid it doesn't really make sense to have all those things mashed together but for now this is just gonna have to be extra storage i never vlog in here i have quite a vision for this room so i'm hoping i can like start getting stuff soon for it cleaning out this room is definitely one of the jobs that i've been avoiding so it's kind of part of it i'm not gonna film most of it but once my mom takes her stuff out i'll kind of film me cleaning up the rest of it because some of it is my stuff so and then i have to switch out everything from my room into this room but my room is super outdated there's like literally pictures of people that i don't talk to anymore like all up on the walls it's like very teenagery so i'm excited to make this room a lot more clean and like functional i know i want to get a vanity and i definitely want to get a new dresser and definitely a new bed frame and i think it'll just be really nice to move into here and have kind of a more clean space there's a lot of home content coming up and then i also want to film a lot of fall clothing hauls and like fall outfits so there is also that content coming up thank you so much for watching